Love Island's Sophie Gradon died at the age of 32, with her boyfriend speaking out in an emotional Facebook post. Aaron said, I will never forget that smile I love. You sir so much baby you're my world forever and always, sick the night before she died, the brunette beauty shared a sweet video of her beau with her 218,000 Twitter followers, showing him dancing whilst cuddling his dog in his arms, when the love of your life loves his dog like this you know, he's the one, she said, she's cuddling him right back, she gushed, and those arms, in the clip, Aaron could be seen swaying in time to the music, cradling his pet pooch who seemed happy to be snuggling up to her owner. How did Sophie Gradon die? What was Love Island star's cause of death? Sophie was also heard giggling in the background as she filmed the cute moment, exclaiming, Ah, baby. The reality star passed away yesterday, less than 24 hours after sharing the video online. A spokesperson for Northumbria Police told Express.co.uk, at about 8.27 p.m. yesterday, June 20, police attended a property in Medburn, Pontyland, where sadly a 32-year-old woman was found deceased. There are not believed to be any suspicious circumstances surrounding her death. A report will now be prepared for coroner. Tributes flooded in from Love Island stars, with Caroline Flack saying, so very sad. Such a beautiful soul, such a beautiful smile, thoughts and love with friends and family at Sophie Graydon. We had lots of little chats and so many laughs. Sophie's co-star Alex Bowen wrote, You were the shoulder to cry on and a beautiful person with a beautiful soul. Shine bright in that sky Sophie Graydon. Malin Anderson also said, Rip at Sophie Graydon this world is cruel. I can't believe what I've just read. You beautiful angel. I have no words. I'm in so much pain, a beautiful friend and person. It hasn't sunk it, she said. Sophie was crowned Miss Great Britain in 2009 and went on to become part of Love Island's first ever same-sex couple with her fellow islander Katie Salmon. The latter wrote a touching tribute on Twitter, saying, Isn't it crazy how someone so stunning, so smiley and appeared so happy can feel no way out. The world we live in behind social media, she continued. I urge everyone to be kind to every person they meet and speak with on social media and in person a smile smile a simple nice comment can really make a difference. You really don't know the battles they go through every single day. The world has failed you beautiful. I'm heartbroken for you Sophie to have felt this pain, I wish I was there more to help out there, she added. Your smile will be remembered forever, my thoughts are with your family friends and loved ones at this horrendous time, too young, too sweet, too kind, I'm sending all my love I truly am to everyone who had the pleasure of ever being in her company, ITV have paid tribute to Sophie in a statement saying, the whole ITV2 and Love Island team are profoundly saddened to hear the news about Sophie, and our deepest sympathies and thoughts go to her family and friends.